Originally released back in 1989, this machine is described by Time magazine as their all-time 100 gadgets as one of the top 5 gadgets ahead of their time. The computer was initially priced in UK for £845 and sold less than 1000 units. The computer has its original packing and it's in mint condition. It was made for the German market and it has a quartz keyboard layout. This computer was equipped with solid state drives. Yes, solid state drives back in 1989. Too bad SSDs on this computer are missing. The computer case looks very good quality. Psyon was known for great quality and ability to hide the screws in their designs. On one side the module is a blank slot and the other one is the parallel port and the serial port. Now let's have a look at the touchpad's design. The touchpad mimics the screen, so the position of your finger on the pad will correspond to the cursor position on the screen, and the whole pad is clickable. The MC400 runs the Psyon developed Epoch graphical operating system, a primitive multitasking OS which would in later years evolve into the Symbian OS adopted by Nokia for its early smartphones. The computer needs 12 volts and 2 amps to run, but as it has no internal batteries to charge it, it can run in 1 amp as well. I will take a compatible jack and an old Sony adapter to get the job done. Keep in mind the polarity on this device is negative on the center and positive on the outside. And finally we can power on this beautiful machine. Well this is unexpected, the display seems dead, might be the capacitors or the ribbon, as I can't see any cracks on the screen. I will disassemble the unit and try to repair it. Fingers crossed. There goes my warranty. The caps look okay. As you can see the ribbon looks damaged, so I will start with that. I used an old floppy disk ribbon cable and soldered at both ends. I am pretty confident with my soldering skills, so I will test this machine after I reassemble it. And what do you know, it works! The touchpad is so bad, it took me 30 seconds to click on something. I am pretty fond of all of this information. You can see the current voltage, how the backup battery is not present, and of course how much memory the apps take in the background.
the T key seems to work funny. I will probably get that fixed in the future. But overall I'm very happy to own this computer. Thank you for watching.